Time for NBC 10 Coffee Break with Frank and Friends. Yep, the long holiday weekend is over. The uh, turkey has been consumed. It's back to coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a bunch of it here. Yeah. Just to yeah. you. Salute, and uh, thank you for joining yeah, us. We've got uh, Mr. Steve and Scott Jameson from POW Science. And they're going to wow you with some great science experiments that, uh, with, with an overall goal of... Uh, uh, getting our, our young people interested in the, the STEM topics. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. Right, guys? Okay. Absolutely. And the guys from POW Science are a couple of uh, other examples of how to get uh, young people interested in science. We have Mr. Steve here, whose secret identity is uh, that of a teacher at LaSalle in oh, Providence. Oh, oh. And we also have Scott Jameson with us, both representing POW Science, a great store now located in Wakefield. And before we get to the, the, to the stuff here that's going to wow everybody, let's talk about POW Science, uh, what your goal is, and what's available. Well, POW Science is a uh, science-themed toy store, uh, as you said, located in Wakefield. Um, they also offer on-site and off-site uh, birthday parties and after-school events, uh, going over an entire range of different science topics for a uh, very diverse range of age groups as well. Yeah, get, expressing an interest in science and having fun at the same time. And we're going to have some fun now. Professor St uh, Mr. Steve, this is your little baby here, am I right? Right, now Frank. Okay. All right, go ahead. Sometimes at a birthday party, you've got to save all your breath to blow out those candles. So you try and <laughs> you just can't blow away those cups. No. But we have the Pau Science Air Zuka. <laughs> Do you want to have a go? Or? Uh, well, you, you okay. demonstrate it to me and I'll help. All right. If you've got some words then, after three, I need some, some pretty good words. All One, right. two, well, three. Well, will this experiment be successful at this distance from... Oh! How easy oh, is Frank. How easy is that? On the first... I'm glad you did it because you've got it on the first try. All right. That's a pow moment for you. <laughs> it is a pow moment. Now, uh, what else do you have for us here? What else do you, you uh, demonstrate for... Well, I suppose for our you? next demonstration could be something that we do at the POW Science Flight party. Um, this is a flight party. Yes. Okay. Uh, we, we make all sorts of aircraft uh, you know, bits and uh, we also demonstrate Bernoulli's principle, which okay. in this instance. All right. We, we demonstrate the difference between floating and flying. Floating and flying. Okay. And bring it back again. All right. Now, uh, <laughs> the difference between floating and flying, and was there any variation in the amount of pressure coming out, or was that all your skill? That was all my skill. How about me. that? <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Come on in, guys. Well, we got something pretty shocking here. Uh -oh. um, we like shocking. All right. This, this, um, this will put electricity through you. Don't worry about it. It doesn't hurt. Okay. But um, it can go through one person, and uh, we light up to show that we've got uh, electricity going. Or we can have two. We've got it. Or we can even, do you want to join in? Do you, sure, do, do sure, sure. This? Okay, you take that so end. We, uh, hold it like this. The silver end, silver yeah, end, okay. and there we yeah. go. And yeah. uh, you break hands, and it stops. It stops. Yeah, so uh, that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's harmless, it works. You can join 30 kids up in a circuit well, on this one. That'd be fun with, a, with yeah. a circle of 30. All right, let's make a mess over here. Outstanding. All right. <laughs> well, defer, <laughs> to you, defer to you, sir. All right. This is, this is a joint effort, this uh -huh. one. This is... Uh, okay. Um, you, you might be thinking something's uh, going to be... Safety first. Little, yeah, just... Uh, kids, always wear your goggles when you're doing oh, experiments. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. The teacher gives you those. Um, we've not had enough snow this um, this uh, November. Well, right? there was one there was one storm, but not too much. No, it's, are complaining about nobody's complaining. <laughs> but some people like snow skiers That's and true. what have That's you. So true. you know, go ahead. Well, I, I think we should have some snow in here, Scott. What do you think? I think Get so. To, uh, shall I uh, see All if right. we can get some snow in the studio? Not not too much. All right. Cold water, gentlemen. Must be. Okay. Uh, one thing about experiments, you got to keep trying till, ah, it, till it works you out. Wait, wait for this one. This, all right, here we th go. this one's got hidden talents. This oh, one. All so. right, let's check that out. Yeah. Oh. Not too much snow because Rhode Islanders have to learn all over again how to drive in snow every winter. All right, I reckon we must be This is more of a sleet storm, is what this is. All right. There oh, we my. go. Oh, that's. Need an extra, extra. That's all right. The dig MV won't be after me. I was afraid of, no. uh, <laughs> I'm afraid of that. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of instant snow in here. We're, uh, well, how about we're that? Um, 
snowball type snow, but it's not. It's obviously very powdery. So what, what is this substance exactly? That is uh, sodium polyacrylate. Uh, okay. It's a very, very absorbent material. You find it in a bunch of consumer products, most, most notably diapers. Ah, uh, that's oh. the, the absorbent material you can find in those. And a, a nice side effect. This is a nice demonstration piece. Pow Science in Wakefield. Check them out. And thank you for joining us today on Coffee Break. We'll see you again tomorrow.